Don't forget next Sunday, event number three in the Grand Prix of figure skating comes your way from Germany, Nations Cup. Timothy Gable takes on the reigning world champ, Yevgeny Plashenko, next Sunday at 12 Eastern, right here on ABC Sports. Well, Sarah Hughes set to go now. The pressure on her shoulders. The leader after the short program here, really strengthened by a great performance last week at Skate America, where she finished a controversial second place. I skated extremely well last weekend. I was very happy. I didn't see anybody else skate. People thought everybody had an opinion on what the outcome should be. And I think it made, makes, it's the sport, it's subjective. It's not who crosses the finish line first, it's who the judges feel deserve to be first or who the judges want to put first. And that's just the sport. I'm here again, I'm gonna skate, and who knows what they'll do this time. Well, you never know what the judges are going to do. You just take care of business out there on the ice. Sarah Hughes with the lead, trying to win for the first time in the Grand Prix. And so far during the warm-up and backstage, to be honest, she's looked a little nervous. Well, this is the first time she's ever been in this position ahead of Slutskaya and Kwan. So this is new territory for her. Music a medley of Daphne and Chloe. And the piano concerto number two from Rachmaninoff. Beautiful moves as she enters into the first jump, a double axel. Very elegant line, deep, smooth edge coming out. By the way, the marks for Nicole Watt range from 4.6 to 5.0 for technical merit, and for presentation, 5.0 to 5.2. Her triple-triple combination, very important for her. Triple sow cow, triple loop. Here, the back inside edge, up to the triple loop. That was wonderful. Very smooth, very confident, very calm. She may have looked nervous backstage, but not now. So far. That magnificent loop and stretch on that. It's so clean, the edge rising. Double toe. Not a high jump, not fast or great distance, but it was complete. And that's the most important element when you're in first place. Nice triple flip. Look at the stretch in that, the legs and the feet, magnificent. I think a lot of these moves come very naturally to Sarah. It doesn't look taut, it looks very natural. Now her second triple, triple combination, triple toe, triple loop. The first one. Oh, she fell right out. Maybe the first bit of vulnerability that we've seen from her in the first two events. She has been so solid these past few years being very consistent. Triple Lutz jump. She now seems to be coming into her own with the joy and the lightness that she's demonstrated so many other times. Wonderful extension.
jump. Oh. Very nice landing <laughs> position, very stretched out. Beautiful layback spin. And, and finally, the, the, the joy of a 16-year-old comes out. Well, she is such a competitor. I mean, she skated so well. One, one flaw in that program. And this audience loves her. One of six kids in the family from Great Neck, New York. Won the silver at Skate America, barely missing. Beating Michelle Kwan for the gold there. Could this have been a gold medal performance? We'll wait and see. Now, this triple salka was just nicely solid. Beautiful turns and revolutions and stepping right back up into that triple loop. The, the, the flow of that was first rate. And this one, however, was not so good. It was a triple toe loop in which she just didn't make the complete revolution and couldn't do the rest of the combination. But if you want to see a humdinger of a move, it's this layback. Absolutely exquisite. Turned out foot, turned out knee, beautifully bent back. Uh, I love it. The only downside here is that this is the non-scoring event in the Grand Prix for Sarah Hughes. Not thinking about that right now, though. Technical merit marks. 5-6, the rest 5-7s. Well, she skated so well, she landed six clean triple jumps, one triple-triple uh, combination that was done so well. And the presentation marks 5-7, 5-8 range. She is in first place right now, but there is room at the top. Still